Hey guys, Cody here with Cars and Cody, and today we're going to show you how to install Grimsby cold air intake on an 05 Forster XT. This installation should only take about 30 minutes to do, so let's get going. The basic tools you guys are going to need, ratchet, 12 mil socket, 10 mil wrench, and some extensions. So this is the stock air box on an 05 Forester XT. There's the air box, the math, and then the really crappy corrugated piping that always cracks like you're about to see. So first step is to take off some of the hose clamps with a screwdriver that I forgot to mention. Let me, let me get a nice zoom so we get some nice uh, Screw change it up. Yeah, okay. After the hose clamps are loose, then you want to pop away your coolant hoses from the top of the air box. Then disconnect your mass airflow. Then tuck all that to the side for now. Next you want to take your 12 mil socket and a couple extensions and take out the two bolts that hold the air box down. Now that you remove the two bolts holding the intake box down, now we're going to go after the map. Just simply remove the two screws that hold the map down and then pull it straight up. Now we're going to remove the intake box from the rest of the intake system. This is the hose I was talking about before that dry rots and cracks and gets all damaged, but the Grimsby one comes with a brand new one. Bye box. Mm -hmm. Now that the air box is off, there's these two little clips here that hold the coolant lines. We're going to remove those. So simply take a pair of pliers and you're just going to squeeze these little clips and pull it right up. A key clip. This is what you get in the box when you order a cold air intake kit from Grimspeed. You get a nice aluminum inlet tube as well as a nice reusable air filter. And then this is the giant shield you get with it. it. Stops the engine bay heat from getting into the inlet as well as it covers up the ABS pump and the power steering reservoir. Put that away. There's children here, Cody. You live in a neighborhood. No, come back. So next, you want to take your heat shield and take all the weather stripping that came with it and start to work it around the entire edge. That way it seals an airtight seal up against the fender. But like I said, this is the stock one. It likes to rip and tear. This is the Grimspeed one that comes in the kit. So obviously this is not going to rip or tear. It's a nice piece of aluminum with a nice texture powder coat. Thanks, Grimspeed. This one likes to rip and just get damaged. So it's a pain in the ass to work with. And then shit like that happens. Good thing I need to put this one in because I have a Grim Sweet Cold Air Intake now. Sponsored. So next you're gonna install this. Oh. Test fit it one more time. Oh! It's test fitted. Oh, that flare. Then you take your intake filter. Oh god, that's close. Put it on there. <laughs> Jeez. Then you should have something like this. Yeet. Where you can spin around like a little party hat. Do, 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 do. Once you tighten up the hose clamp, you're ready to install for the most part. That's quick. Thanks, man. Right here is a stock location bolt that normally holds a grounding wire on. Grimspeed uses that to hold the shield down, so we gotta remove that for now. And you're done! <laughs> Boom! Now you wanna install the entire apparatus. I said apparatus, it was a big word. You gotta snake it around these hoses, kinda massage it, more massage them. Normally I have a hood prop up, but Chris yelled at me, so I had to move it. <laughs> the hood prop actually got in the way. You're welcome. Hey, is that one gonna crack like the other one did? Nope. Why? Because grip speed. Being that Chris made me put the hood prop down for filming, kind of got in the way of installing this beautiful grip speed intake. Just so you know, grip speed makes hood prop kits. Gets rid of the whole prop and gives you nice two pistons that pss, hold it open. This does look pretty crappy, to be honest with you. Grip speed, hook it up. Hey, look at all this icky looking hood prop. So this is the hardware that comes with a kit. You got two new bolts to hold the shield down, as well as this guy replaces the bolt that you removed up top. And then these guys are for your math. I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. Starting up top, I like to start this bolt just because it can be a little finicky. You also don't want the ground strap to fall into the intake after you already put the other two bolts in. So you kinda gotta work that on. Why? Because it's a sealed system then. Oh. Yeah, once it's get, it's down there, it's kinda a pain in the ass to get it out. Once you get the bolt in there and started, you just gotta tighten it down. It's kinda a pain in the ass too, but it's such a tight fit, it's worth it. Next, you wanna grab a 13 mil socket and we're gonna put the bolts in to hold the shield down. A little trick, grab a piece of plastic, shove it in your socket, and then wedge it on down. That way it doesn't fall out. What if it falls out? We're all fucked. And like I said, there's two bolt holes to hold the shield down, so three in total fastening this whole shield up. Next, we're gonna install the coupler. This goes between the inlet tube and your turbo inlet pipe on the car. Wow. Well. You just gotta work it on the inlet tube. Slide your two hose clamps back on over it. Once you get the hose clamps in, in place, just tighten them on up. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Next, we're gonna install the MAF with the supplied hardware. Only goes one way. MAF-tastic. math I was never really good at math in school. Then you wanna plug in the MAF. Plugged in. Plugged. Then take your clips from before. Boop. 
and boop. Then secure your lines. Nice. And we're done. Wow. How long was that, Chris? Less than 30 minutes, your pizza's free. Yeah, Papa John's. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. Your intake's installed and it only took us about 15 minutes. Now that you have an aftermarket intake on your car, you need a tune. You can either solve that by a Cobb Access Port Stage 1 tune, or you can get a Pro Tune. My car currently has a Cobb Stage 1 tune on it, and it's perfectly fine. The Cobb Stage 1 tune right now is great for what I have. It's just the intake, and that's it. But if you have more mods done to it, I highly recommend getting a Pro Tune regardless. The awesome thing about this intake is it's a short ram, but performs like a cold air. That means it sucks up all the cold air without having to be down in the fender, so the chances of being hydrolocked or sucking up water slim to none. You also get a lot of cool spoolie sounds with it. Spoolie sounds are always positive. Hell yeah, they are. But it just looks nice. Massive thank you to Grimspeed for sending over the intake for me to install my Forester as well as show you guys how to install it. So if you guys like what you saw, make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments how I did, if I should make more videos, if I suck, if I should stop, if I should give up, or if I should just go back to working for Chris full time and quit my current job. That hurts my feelings a lot. <laughs> but awesome. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you guys have a good one. Lucky you.